Hey, the name's Cruel. That's King Rob Rule, and welcome to my no-nonsense bowgun guide. This video aims to teach what is common between the light and heavy bowgun, what is different between them, the concept of critical distance, and the different ammo types. Due to time restrictions, some things will be left out. Post anything you consider important in the comments. Let's start with what's common between them. You can draw your weapon with X, you can aim with ZL, and shoot with ZR. Due to aiming with ZL, wirebug moves are mapped to R. To cycle through your ammo types, hold the L button and press X or B to cycle through the list. The radial menu is an excellent way to cycle to your most used ammo types or craft more ammo on the fly. Use at your own discretion. To reload, you can either press X or empty your clip and continue to press ZR. The concept of critical distance, which basically means you are within the zone that does maximum damage. When the reticle is bright orange, you are within critical distance. This varies across different ammo types, which I will elaborate on in the ammo type section. Special ammo types are mapped to the A button. You can do a melee attack with X plus A. Ammo can mostly be purchased from the merchant, but it can also be crafted. Each bowgun utilizes a unique set of ammo. Keep this in mind when purchasing a new weapon and preparing for your hunts. Now for what is different between the weapons. Light bowgun. As the name suggests, the light bowgun is lighter and allows you to move more freely. It has access to rapid fire mode. Note the orange arrows. Rapid fire is only available on certain weapons and limited ammo types. It has access to wyvern blasts. These are mines that explode on impact. You have three wyvern blasts at a time and they are restored on a cooldown. At the blacksmith, you can attach a silencer or long barrel. I recommend just equipping the long barrel, especially if playing solo. As for default wirebug attacks, R plus X has you vault in the air, and you can either shoot, reload, or plant a wyvern blast during this animation. R plus A closes some distance, and pressing ZR will have you shoot a large shot for mounting damage. Now for heavy bowgun. This bowgun is much slower, but typically has higher attack values. The heavy bowgun allows for charge shots by holding ZR. Excellent for wyvern ammo and lining up shots, but not much else. Wyvern ammo is also exclusive to heavy bowgun. It's essentially one big explosive attack. Heavy bowguns have access to two special ammo types, wyvern snipe and wyvern heart. Wyvern snipe is a piercing shot that explodes moments after impact. Wyvern heart is a minigun style rapid fire attack. Both have time cooldowns. At the blacksmith, you can attach a shield or power barrel. The shield can be very useful due to the weapon's sluggish mobility, but if you're confident, go for the power barrel. As for default Y-bug attacks, R plus X is a counter maneuver which allows you to vault backwards upon firing. Note that the charge animation exists to aid in lining up the shot. It does not actually increase damage the longer it is charged. R plus A is a dashing maneuver. I recommend ignoring this and slotting in Evade Extender instead. Now let's talk about ammo types. The core ammo types are as follows. Normal ammo, a standard shot which hits the monster in one concentrated spot. Critical distance is mid-range. Piercing ammo, which shoots through the body of the monster. Ideally, you want to use this on monsters with long bodies for maximum effect. Critical distance is mid to long range. Spread ammo. Shotgun style ammo that hits across a wide area. Critical distance is close range. And shrapnel ammo, ammo that scatters upon impact, which is good for clearing packs of small monsters. Critical distance is close to mid range. The additional types of ammo are sticky, which is explosive ammo that attaches to the target, can be used on the head for KOs, and is also good for breaking monster parts. Slicing ammo, which attaches to the target and deals slicing damage, used primarily for cutting tails, but can also deal a lot of damage. Cluster, which is explosive ammo that spreads in a wide area upon landing, only used in solo play as it sends anyone nearby flying. Elemental ammo, deals elemental damage. Status ammo, which deals next to no damage, but applies status effects efficiently. There is also demon, armor, recovery, and trank ammo. These are support ammo types. The effects are pretty self-explanatory. As for ammo levels, generally, the higher ammo level, the more effective it is. There are more nuances, so research if you are interested. And that was bow guns in 5 minutes. I've been King Rob Rule, next up is bow. Gotta go fast.